Well, hey guys, it is time to get some fertilizing going on. So that's what I'm going to get done this afternoon. Come on and check it out. Well, hey guys, thanks for tuning back in. I appreciate so much you guys following along on the channel. Uh, as I said, today is all about getting fertilizing done. Uh, if you will, be sure and stay tuned to the end part of the channel and we'll go over in a lot more detail about the process of lawn care and all the different things you've got to do. But for right now, while I've got sunshine, uh, it's getting late in the afternoon and I want to get this down. Uh, so it's all about getting the fertilizer done. So uh, I'm going to transition the tractor real quick and get the broadcaster put on and load up and put down some fertilizer. As I'm working, I'll go over in more detail exactly what I'm putting down. And uh, again, stay tuned for the end of the video and we will go over um, uh, all of the different steps in the process and I'll feed you guys in on what I've done so far and where we are in the process and what else we still got left to do. So guys, you know me, let's get busy. So in some of my past videos, uh, you have seen uh, where I did a whole redo on my utility building. We moved it back here, as you can see. And if you remember, one of the things was I redid this whole back shelving just so I could get this dude stored out of the way. And I'll tell you why this is so important. If you have ever uh, watched all right, if you've ever been by farms, you see the implements setting out, and boy, implements just tend to rust away. That's one of the reasons why I added the lean-tos the way I did, to where I can keep this stuff out of the direct weather. Doesn't mean it's not gonna rust, but this is not getting sun direct on it and rain direct on it, so hopefully it'll last a lot longer. In the case of a broadcaster, fertilizer is so corrosive. Uh, if you see any of these setting out uh, in the fields, they are just rusting to where they become non-functional. So for me, one of the things that I've done, and I've been very lucky so far, this is probably my fourth or fifth year having this. Um, and uh, I, I make sure when I'm done, I really clean it good. I really load it down with the soap and try to neutralize all of that, um, uh, the acidity from the fertilizer. And so far you can see this thing has stayed in good shape. And so, and this is one reason why I keep it in the building instead of setting out here, because I want this thing completely out of the weather so it will last a lot longer. So anyway, let me get this hooked on the tractor and we'll get it loaded up with fertilizer and we'll get busy. Okay guys, I got the broadcaster all hooked up and ready to go. And I wanted to go over with you the type of fertilizer I'm gonna use this year. Now again, I have usually in the past for a bunch of years, I've used triple 17. So it would be 17, 17, 17. Um, can't remember the second two. Uh, one's potassium, but the main one, the number, the first one is the nitrogen, nitrogen level. Uh, this is what makes your yard green up. Again, triple 17. This year, I'm gonna use 30, five, and 10. And obviously, I'm um, really stepping it up big on my nitrogen level. And I am really uh, excited about what this will do to green up my yard. So anyway, um, I've got it set. I just dropped this down. I'm gonna dump the bags in and fill this up. And we'll get busy throwing some fertilizer. Guys, I also wanted to do a huge shout out to Charles and all the guys over at Jim's Warehouse. Uh, they are located in Dry Fork, Virginia, and it is a warehouse that has uh, all land, lawn care type products, weed killers, fertilizers, grass seeds, they carry it all. And I can tell you they're located in Dry Fork, Virginia. So if you live anywhere in the South Central area, definitely worth you can look them up just google them he'll come up give uh charles a call uh, if you will tell him the guys from project next sent you <laughs> i'm not getting nothing for this guys he's just a good group of uh good group of guys and i can tell you if you do any kind of price comparisons i will be shocked if you can find anybody that's better got better prices than jim he usually uh out, out beats the the competition and enough to where it's worth the drive to go pick it up so anyway i just wanted to say a shout out to them they got me all hooked up with the fertilizers that i'm using today and just wanted to say a shout out to those guys be sure if you call them tell them project next one sent you <laughs> thanks guys anyway we're loaded up let's get busy throwing some fertilizer
Well, man, talk about how timing worked out. Uh, late in the afternoon, and we are just beating the rains. It's now just starting to sprinkle. So, boy, we timed that perfect, and uh, I'm so glad to get that fertilizer on the ground. You know, in the beginning of the video, I asked you guys to hang on the end because I wanted to talk to you guys about lawn care. Uh, mainly, the point I wanted to make is that for long, good lawn care, it mostly involves a commitment. Uh, and it's a process. I am now probably into my third year uh, of the commitment that I have made uh, for wanting to, to transform my yard. Uh, and it involves a bunch of steps. Uh, obviously, there's weed control. Uh, there's uh, aerating every year. There's overseeding um, and fertilization. Uh, so, um, and then uh, weed killing of areas that you don't want anything to grow and it's something that you want to take care of you know it's not an overwhelming task uh, a couple of times a year you need to spend you know i, I spend a good day or two uh, working on mine uh, but it's not overwhelming especially if you've got nice equipment i'm very blessed to have equipment that almost makes doing this stuff fun uh, with the broadcast spreader uh, i put out all that fertilizer and it was less than an hour and didn't even work up sweat so it almost makes it kind of fun uh, anyway, uh, again, just wanted to stress, it's a process and a commitment. So uh, for me guys, I'm in the middle of my process. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, uh, number one, thanks for tuning in and welcome. I hope you guys will consider hitting the subscribe, uh, liking and sharing with your friends and join along for this process. Uh, all through the spring, I'll be posting up multiple videos on every step of the way uh, through the process. Obviously today was fertilizing. Uh, the next thing will be core plug aerating and then overseeding. Uh, and then as we get into the season, uh, I mean, I'm already a point and I will show you, uh, even though we did the other day, uh, I had the video of where I had the gator and I was spraying all this. You can see all of this is doing great. All of that's dying out just like it should. Uh, and obviously this is total vegetation killer. Well, over here, I need to deal with and let me get down close so you can see. In my yard, I get clover in lots of patches. I've got a bunch through here. Well, you want to use a product that will kill this out, but it will not harm your grass. And those are all getting into all the different post emergents that you will put down. And again, I'll use the same, my, my John Deere with the, uh, with the sprayer, but I will be putting a product out on the grass that will not hurt the grass, but it'll take care of any kind of uh, weed that has a leaf on it. So I'll, again, I'm gonna be bringing videos all along the way for that. So uh, I hope you guys will also hit the notifier so you'll be sure not to miss any of those videos as they come up. Uh, remember here at Project Next, there's always one more and I'm always trying to do at least two videos a week. So guys, I hope you'll join in and consider subscribing. And again, welcome to the channel if you do. And guys, for now, I'm gonna finish up for today. Listen, you guys stay safe as you're out there. Stay healthy, uh, be careful, and we will be talking to you soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you later. Take care.